a TOC question on DFA. We have been given a language L in closure of 0 and 1. It is an arbitrary regular language accepted by minimal DFA with K states. So we need to determine that which of the given languages must necessarily be accepted by a minimal DFA also with K states. Now it is not the same DFA which is existing for this particular language L. They are just saying that there is a language L that needs a DFA with K states. So we have to determine what are the other languages from those given in the options that also require K states and that has to be a minimal DFA. All right, so let us have a look at the options and let us try to come up with some counter examples for them. The first one is saying L minus 0, 1, which means the language L except the string 0, 1. L is accepting, let us consider L to be a language which accepts uh, only one string which is 0, 1 itself. So let us create the DFA for this language L. It will accept only 0 and 1. So this is 0, 1 final state and there will be a dead state for 1, for 0 and for both 0 and 1. So this is the DFA for the language L. Now what they are saying L minus 0, 1 which means our L was itself accepting only 0, 1 and now we are removing that string from it as well. So now L becomes the empty language. It will need only one single state now and hence it is not requiring the same number of states. We can also take other examples for L and we will come to know that whatever we take L, uh, it's L and the language we obtain after removing this one single string from L will not always need the same number of states. So this is incorrect. Next one is L union of the string 0 1. So for this case we can consider language L to be let us take some other case. Let us take L to be the empty language itself. L does not accept anything. So for that this will be the DFA which uh, needs just one single state. And now we are taking its union with the string 0 1. So now this particular language will become like this which we had considered for the first case. This is its DFA. The language which accepts only one single string that is 0 comma 1. So again L and L union of 0 1 are not requiring the same number of states. So this statement this option is also incorrect. Now the option C it is saying the closure of 0 1 minus L. So L itself was defined in this particular domain itself and we are removing L from the closure of 0 comma 1. So this becomes L complement and we know how to convert a language into its complement using the DFA. What do we do? We just swap the final and the non-final states. So if we consider this particular DFA itself, this is accepting the language having just one single string which is 0 1. If we have to take its complement, then that language will accept everything except this particular string. It will accept null string, it will accept 0, 1, 0 star, 1 star, 1 star, 0 star, everything except this one single string. So for that what we will be doing, we will be swapping the final and the non-final states this way. Now as you can see this DFA, it accepts null string, yes. It accepts 0, it accepts 1, it accepts any number of zeros like this. From here it will go to this state and this is having a loop on, on itself so it will accept all the strings except 0 comma 1. It's 0 1. See this is 0, this is 1 and it is a non-final state and there is no other way we can get a 1 after 0. This is the only possible path. So we cannot accept 0 1 but after that after 0 1 we can have anything again. zero plus 1 plus not a star it is a plus after 0 1 again we can accept anything go into this state so this is the resulting DFA which is also requiring four states and it is representing the complement language of L so language L and its complement can be represented by the same DFA with the same number of states only by swapping the final and the non-final states so option C is the correct answer let us also look for the D it is a concatenation of uh, language L with itself. So here let us consider language L is a language that accepts just one single string which is let's say 0. So its DFA will be represented as it is 
only accepting a zero. This is the start state. This is a zero, and we'll end a dead state. One, zero, one. So this will be the DFA for the language L that accepts only a zero. And when we concatenate L with itself, it will become zero zero. It will have to accept uh, a string which is zero zero and nothing else. So for that, this will be the resulting DFA. 0 0 and a dead state for 1 for 1 and for both 1 and 0 so now l took three states and l completely concatenated with l itself took four states so again here we have found a counter example so this option c which is l complement is the only possible solution in which l and its complement both the languages always require the same number of states in their minimal dfa that is the correct answer